Good morning. I'm Miss Carter for Virginia Randolph. Welcome to my Algebra 1 class. So today, um, if you'll notice that we have uh, some stations going on. Typical for Virginia Randolph, we do have smaller classes. So um, our classes can range from, as you can see, five to all the way to maybe 15. This is one of the smaller classes. We do have a lot of new people. And so today, some of my uh, classes that have been here for all year, they'll be working on polynomials and reviewing. And then we're trying to catch up some of the new people, um, trying to catch them on polynomials and some past topics like slope. Um, so just watch us in action as we work as a review and um, talk about reviewing polynomials. Uh, DeAsia, let me know when this group is finished with the warm up, okay? Yes. Okay, we'll get you one. She's got one, um, but I'll let you make a copy of one that'll help you. I've got a, an extra guided note sheet. Here's one that you can use. This is, this is, the, I only have one right now, but y'all can share this one as you go through your work, okay? Are you in your warm-up? Okay. So at the end of your warm-up, it'll give you a grade. Let me know if you need any help. You have your guided note sheet that we made. Should be. You don't have it? Okay. So if you'll remember, look at the words to piece them together. So a student went shopping for DVDs and CDs on Tuesday and Wednesday. They paid $75 for three DVDs. So use your marker, write it down on your desk. So many of the students love to write on their desk. They will write out their sentences to form their equations. Good. So that's the total, right? Okay. So, and also look at your answers and kind of go backwards. Good. Mm-hmm. So how did you know the D stands for DVDs? Good. Good. Now, I noticed that you've got 75 twice. So some of this needs to be rearranged slightly. Good. So what else could you put with that? Exactly. Go ahead and add that. Yes. So what number should be going with the CDs? There's one thing you need to check. Yeah. Okay. So read it closely. Okay. So let's look at some of your answer choices. Let's see which one doesn't have what you have. And we can play a process of elimination. Exactly. Correct. So we're looking, well, it's another one. Look at what you have. Thank you. But I don't think they take that here. This one? Mm hmm. So there you go. Good. So they all have bags. And in their bags, they have all the utensils that they need. You have your you have your bag. Okay. Yep. You doing it right? Looks beautiful.
So you're going to use that key to write that sentence. Good. Now what's next? Yep, and what are they represented by? And how many do you have? Four. Mm -mm. Count them all. All your rectangles. And you have more at the bottom. So it's like a puzzle. You've got to piece it all together. And how many do you have total? So how would you write that? But you need a sign. So it should be plus 11x. And it's plus because all of these are positive numbers. But you need an x on that 11. Uh-huh. And so now let's do the small boxes. What are they represented by? And how many do you have? And how would you write that? Good. OK. All right. Good. OK. What did you get? OK. Yeah, when y'all are done, she's ready to do the activity. X. So remember, I got a question. There's a question about slope. What letter do we use to represent slope? Anybody remember what letter? M. Anybody remember the formula for slope? Good. So you're going to be using your formula for that one, Kingston. Remember, you're going to label your order pairs. So your first order pair is your x1, y1. Your second order pair is x2, y2. Make sure you label your parts. You can write it on your desk if you want. Here you go. Uh-huh. Oh, I think Ms. Delmar has your other stuff, okay? Now, y'all gonna explain it to her? Okay, all right, let me go back over to this section. Go down. Mm-hmm. Now label them. Mm-hmm. Mm. It should be X1, Y1. Okay, now do the second one. X2. Mm-hmm. Okay, now plug it into the formula. We gotta put this into the calculator. Then once we put it in, we get an answer off of this. Then we gotta find the answer off of this. Yeah, what's the key word? Mm -mm, read it slowly to yourself. Yes, and what does that mean? Yes, okay. I'm gonna come back and check on you. So on your activity that you're working on, we are solving for polynomials. So they're going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You're gonna solve for it. When you solve whatever your answer is, you're going to draw this picture or whatever answer picture onto this body. Your body is going to form an animal. It's going to be a beautiful tiger, okay? 
we're going to see who has the close this answer and have an art contest when you're done okay so everyone should look somewhat of the same but based upon your artistic skills some may be more artful but everybody's figure should be the same okay all right Uh, did you still want to have an art contest? You do? You want to have an art contest? Okay. Are you good at drawing? Well, me either. But I'm still going to try. Okay, that is right. Let's go down. Y1 is correct. Your X2, I don't think, go up, let me see your problem over here. Yeah, that's correct. X1, all right, let me see. Go up. Yeah, that's right. That's, do you know which one it is? Your answer is correct, your work is, Mm -mm, that says eight negative eight over three. Okay. Yeah, you're doing right. Okay. Now, what made you choose that other answer? I'm just curious. Because you chose three over eight at first. Okay. I just want to make sure you're good. Okay, I'm gonna come back. Mm-hmm, perfect. Let me see your answer when you get it. Make sure you're using your guided notes in front of you. So what's your first keyword? Yep. Wait a minute. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, keep going. I like it. So are you guys gonna answer your problems first and then go back? Okay. Thank you so much for joining uh, ABR and looking into my Algebra One class. It's a wonderful place to be, and we have such a unique setting here. Uh, we have so many kids coming in at different times, so we have to make sure that we get everyone the education that they need, regardless of where they've come from, where they've been. Thank you. Come back again. <laughs>